Vegan, the effective cure for climate change. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Műsoraink sok nyelvet tartalmaznak. Kérjük, tekintse meg itt! suprememastertv.com per schedule Do not think of the future, but endeavor right now to make life joyful to yourself and to others. Let the tomorrow take care of itself. This is a great truth. Please continue watching to find out more. Здравствуйте is a greeting of hello to you in Russian. I'm Liev. The caring Russian people join your prayers for a peaceful vegan world. With God's merciful grace, may we forever strive in spiritual endeavors that benefit all lives. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. This insightful saying by Leo Tolstoy is a valuable reminder for all of us to reflect inwardly. The renowned 19th century Russian author suggested that we ask ourselves what God really wants us to do, as Leo Tolstoy said. In the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. A novel by Tolstoy is not a work of art, but a piece of life, stated Matthew Arnold, a 19th century British poet and critic. In addition to his renowned epic novels, Leo Tolstoy wrote essays and letters that conveyed the spiritual truths he came to realize in life. Along with adopting and promoting the vegetarian diet, he became deeply interested in spirituality and living by the ethical teachings of Christ. The concepts he conveyed through his writings about peace and the fulfillment of God's will greatly influenced 20th century leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke about the uplifting nature of Leo Tolstoy's work during a group meditation session with our association members in July 1997 in Los Angeles, USA. Because Tolstoy was a practitioner, you know? That's why when you read his story, almost a story about spirituality, about God, and very happy, very positive. It's very good to read he, he, him, huh? to read his book. You try. If you haven't, you try. You can read more, huh? Such thing is very good for you. We would like to share with you an insightful excerpt from Volume 2 of The Pathway of Life called Living in the Present. True life is only in the present. When associating with others or when carried away by the thoughts of the past or of the future, it is difficult to realize that your life is right now, in the present moment. But how important and precious it is to remember this. Try to train yourself to do so. Man will avoid much evil if he but train himself to remember that only the present is important in life, that the present alone exists, all else is a dream. The moment you delve in the past or in the future, you have left the present life, and you feel orphaned, hampered and lonely. 
How much moral suffering and all that to die after a few moments? Is it worthwhile to worry? This is untrue. Your life is now. There is no time. The present moment is worth many centuries if in this present moment you live with God. They say man is not free because everything he does has its own cause preceding it in time. But man always acts in the present, and the present is beyond time. It is merely the point of contact between the past and the future. Therefore, in the moment of the present, man is always free. The divine force of life manifests itself only in the present. Therefore, the activities of the present must have divine characteristics, that is, must be rational and good. A wise man was asked, what is the most important thing? Who is the most important man? And what time of life is the most important? And the wise man replied, the most important thing in life is to love all people, for therein is the concern of every man's life. The most important man is the one with whom you have dealings at the present moment, for you cannot know whether you will ever have dealings with anyone else. But the most important time is the present, for in that alone a man has power over himself. Love is manifested in the present only. The paramount thing in life is love, and you cannot love in the past or in the future. You can love only in the present, now, this instant. Only when you are not guided in your actions by the past or by the future, but by the commands of your soul in the present, can you act in full harmony with love. Love is the manifestation of the divine principle, for which there can be no time, and therefore love manifests itself only in the present, now, this instant. Do not think of the future, but endeavor right now to make life joyful to yourself and to others. Let the tomorrow take care of itself. This is a great truth. It makes life worthwhile not to know what is needful for the future. Only one thing is surely needful and is always worthwhile – to love others at the present moment. To love in general means to do good. This is how we all understand love and cannot understand it otherwise. And love is not a mere word but that which we do for the good of others. If a man decides that he must abstain from the demands of the slightest love manifestation in the present for the sake of some greater love in the future, he only deceives himself and others and loves no one but himself. There is no love in the future, love can be only in the present. If a man does not do the works of love in the present, there is no love in him. You seek that which is good, but that which is good can be only now. There can be no good in the future, for there is no future. There is only the present. Never postpone a good deed if you can do it today, for death cannot stop to examine whether you have or have not done what you ought. Death waits for no man, waits for nothing. Therefore, the most important thing for man is that which he is doing at the present moment. If we only remembered more frequently that lost time cannot be returned, that evil once committed cannot be undone, we would do more good and commit less evil. Do not let us delay being just and compassionate, 
Do not let us wait for some extraordinary suffering, either our own or that of other people. Life is short. Let us therefore make haste to rejoice the hearts of our companions on this short journey. Let us make haste to be good. If you can do a good deed or show love to someone, take heed to do so at once. Otherwise, the opportunity may pass never to return. Good men forget the good they have done. They are so busy about that which they do at the present moment that they can give no thought to what they did in the past. Life now, at the present moment, this is the state in which God dwells within us, and therefore the present moment is the most precious of all. Make use of all the forces of your soul, so that this moment pass not in vain so that you may not miss God who can be manifested in you. Blissful viewers, thank you for joining us on today's Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is Samba, a symbol of Brazil, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. May your inner wisdom be fulfilled by the highest truth of heaven. Vegan, the way of ladies and gentlemen. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW 